important facts about kidney failure. So in this video, we're going to be looking about looking at important facts about kidney failure that you need to know because we have a lot of lies about kidney failure. And in this video, I tend to clarify them and give us facts. Okay, number one fact is that people believe that kidney failure only happens to adults. So in this video, I want to tell you that kidney failure does not only happen to adults, it also happens to children. In fact, it can happen to people of all ages, both young and old. So no matter how old you are, no matter how young you are, you actually need to take care of your health properly so that you won't come down with kidney failure or kidney issues. In fact, in this, vid in this video, in this ch YouTube channel, we have a lot of education about how to actually keep your kidneys working. So you can actually look, at, look through it and also learn something. And one of the things also that people believe is that um, high blood pressure happens to only adults. That why would a child have high blood pressure? So I also want to state in this video that high blood pressure happens with, to both children and adults. So that is why in schools these days we encourage that um, schools get a um, BP monitor to check their students and to check everybody because we need to be at the lookout. If you watch our society these days, we have a lot of people coming down with kidney failure, more than it has ever been before. In fact, recently I started getting more invitations to radio stations and television stations to talk about kidney health because of how dangerous and how popular it has become in this day. So it is very important that I also state that high blood pressure is actually one of the leading causes of kidney failure in Nigeria. So if we can actually catch them young, um, them get them to know about these conditions on time, it can actually help us to um, know how to tackle them. Now someone is asking me, how do someone know? How do how can someone actually dictate? This condition early before it becomes worse. If it becomes worse, can it be stopped? Okay, so what I'm saying is that kidney failure can be treated early if we actually engage in what we call routine um, health check. Okay, every January in our kidney health class, we actually encourage people to check their, um, their kidney function. We call it operation share your kidney function test results where we go through the kidney function test and tell people what they need to respect. So it is something we do every January and in this January 2026, 20, we are going to be doing it and we are not going to be just doing um, you know, kidney check. We are also going to be doing HbA1c and cholesterol level. So we need to know how healthy we are because the cholesterol level has a lot of things to do to determine if a person is going to be having a heart attack or not. So, a lot of people having heart attack. In fact, this month alone, over the news, I've heard about more than 10, these are the ones I listened to, people who died from heart attack. Go online and check it. It's called the statistics is actually increasing. So, because I don't want you guys listening to me and everyone that is following me to be among the people that will be counted as this. So, we'll be having this opportunity to check ourselves in January. So, apart from that, um, a lot of people actually developing this condition. So let's look at fact number two. We have um, you can you will know when you start feel, having kidney failure. So some people believe that when kidney failure start happening to them, that they will be able to know that yes, kidney failure is happening. So I want to tell you that you may not kidney failure will not give you a sign. Okay, someone said it's actually one of my popular quotes, but let me say it, that your kidney may not give you a sign if it is failing, until about 90% of your kidney has been damaged. This is how serious or how well dead the kidney is. It will keep working, and you may not know until about 90% of the kidney has been, is, um, has been damaged. This is why we also talk about um, having a regular routine check, because if you don't check, you may not know. So, 90% um, gone. So, if you now start having signs and symptoms, like some people will not say, it means that it's becoming too late and if this person may actually um, be needing dialysis. That's why most people who come to the hospital and they tell them that you need, um, that you have kidney failure, the next thing is transplant. In fact, um, the next thing is dialysis and the need for transplant. In fact, there's even a kind of transplant that you can actually do without um, going for dialysis at all. This is when you're able to know the condition on time. Maybe at stage four, you make preparations to do your transplant, and you do your, you get your um, transplant done, and you live normal, healthy life. Nobody will even know that you had, you would have had um, kidney issues. So it actually helps improve the, um, um, is it improve the outcome of this person? You know, um, kidney failure and dialysis comes with its own complications and its own um, issues. So if you're able to know that you're going to develop kidney failure and you do transplant on, um, on time, 
it can actually help improve your longevity and your kidney disease at home. So now, some people believe that drinking water can actually cure kidney failure. So in this video, I want to say that it can actually um, cure kidney failure and kidney problem. Drinking water does not cure kidney failure or kidney problem. In fact, in certain stage of kidney failure, a person will be restricted. The amount of water a person takes will be restricted. In fact, we've had people who um, the fluid intake was restricted to 500 mils in two days. Okay, so in between sections of dialysis, they're not supposed to drink more than 500 mils. That is when you know that being test is another is another thing. Having um, test being tested is another um, issue of its own. When you when someone says don't drink water, so now we are actually begging you to actually drink water. You will not be drinking water. But when it comes to those on dialysis that have been giving water restriction, that is when you know that water is good. So the essence of me making this video is so that you do not get to that point. Okay, now drink water as much as you can, but water is not a cure for kidney disease, it's not a cure for kidney failure. Okay, I know that your doctor must have told you to be drinking water for your kidney stone. Yes, it's okay to drink water, enough water if you have kidney stone, but that alone is not the best solution for kidney stone. So if you're here and you're looking for a solution for kidney stone, I'm on over victory, the kidney balls himself. So I can actually help you pass kidney stones less than 10 mm. Okay, so this is depending on so many factors the position of the stone and not the rest of them so if you need guys you can actually send a message to me privately so we talk about how possible how possible it is for you to actually crush this other flush out kidney stones so we have another one that said that um, diabetes and high blood pressure are the only causes of kidney failure so i want to say in this video that diabetes and high blood pressure they are not the only cause of kidney failure we have a lot of causes so they are just the two main causes of um, kidney failure. We have glomerulonephritis, we have polynephritis. In fact, any, I used to tell people in my class that any condition that affects the kidney has the capacity to cause um, CKD and has the capacity to cause kidney failure. So if you're having um, kidney infection, you're having kidney stone, take, them very, take your treatment very, very serious. Because any of this, if not properly handled, can actually lead someone into developing kidney failure okay but that's not our portion because i know that you're going to be taking your treatment very very serious so we have um that um, transplant some people actually believe that transplant is for only for serious cases okay in this video i've also been able to tell us that transplant is not only for serious cases that we can actually do transplant in cases of someone who is about to enter and stay and uh, enter um the uh, fifth stage who has not entered it can actually be do done for that person so this is just the fact that i want you to know and trust me i know that you're watching you're watching your health and it's going to actually be very very okay for you to live a healthy old life um to live a healthy long life i used to tell people that the best gift you can give to your generation is a healthy you i'm on over victory and i'm your kidney health coach thanks for listening but don't forget to share this video to your loved ones. thank you